This is the new TP30 tripod from Neewer. This tripod was sent to me as a preview, so they didn't sponsor this post, so all thoughts will be my own. So let's check out how this thing works. It's got a pretty cool carrying case, as you can see here. It's nice and compact. When I've been traveling, one of the key things I've been looking for is a super compact tripod. So this thing, as you can see, is pretty short when it's all folded up. This is 18 inches and it extends out to 62 inches at its full height, which is pretty tall. It's got a couple accessories in the bag here. This looks like it's some sort of mini tripod, so I am looking forward to seeing what that is like. Um, I'm gonna assume you can probably take the ball head off and put it on this mini table tripod, so this would be handy for some on-the-go filming. It also came with this pretty cool handle slash phone adapter. Uh, it's got a one quarter thread screw on it, and from what I saw, there's two points on the tripod here and on the other side here where you can actually screw in uh, one quarter screw accessories. So you can use this, you can uh, screw in some lights, whatever other extras you have. The outside of it is carbon fiber. It does feel very light. It's 2.4 pounds or 1.1 kilograms. So that's reasonably light. So that's very handy if you're on the go. Uh, when I'm hiking up, I don't like using tripods that are too large or too heavy. Uh, so this is a great size. The target market for this is definitely travelers or folks that just need a compact designed tripod. The max load is 33 pounds or 15 kilograms. That's an important number to keep in mind whenever you're buying a tripod as that is the weight that they're rated to hold. So if you have a very heavy tripod, you're gonna need something like this that can handle a pretty heavy setup. I believe when I've calculated all of the additions on my camera setup, it's about 10 pounds, uh, sometimes up to 12. So this is very sturdy and will hold the weight of my equipment very well. For those that are curious, this has a five section extension. So it works in the format of a clip, so extend and clip down. I've had a couple different tripods over the years, some with twist mounts, including a previous newer one. The nice thing about the clip style is I always feel like you know when it's perfectly secure. Sometimes the twist format ones can get a little loose or you don't 100% know when they're actually locked. So there's uh, no doubt in my mind when this is actually in a locked format. Uh, so this is a pretty good way to know for sure if your legs are fully locked in. Other than the leg extension, there's also the possibility to extend the center column for that extra height. So that'll get you to 62 inches. So there's 62 inch height. I actually prefer to keep my tripod slightly lower. So some people like to have the viewfinder right at eye height. I like it a little lower, personal preference. The knob here is for rotation. And then the other knob here uh, locks the actual ball head in place, which is pretty standard to most ball heads. You can move the ball head to shoot vertical if you need to. It has a very interesting quick release plate here. So if you press down on this button, the plate comes loose. Once you get used to it, moving the camera on and off this ball head is actually really fast with the button and uh, twisting plate. So it's, it's pretty handy for getting your camera on and off very quickly. So they did a good job with that. It comes with a small Arca Swiss plate, which you can easily mount just any other, like any other Arca Swiss plate. Uh, I did try a couple other brand Arca Swiss plates, including my Peak Design one and one that came with my Gorillapod, and it doesn't seem to um, sit on the plate very easily, so I don't recommend it. I would suggest using the plate it comes with. Now you're probably wondering, does this actually sit on a Peak Design plate? I have one here on my bag. So it does slide in, it just does not lock. So something to keep in mind, not that big a deal because you're usually not gonna have a plate come loose off your Peak Design plate. Um, but it's just something to keep in mind that uh, if you have this one on, that it's not gonna be fully locked. Once you have the camera mounted on the plate, I did notice you need to use this little rotation mechanism in here to keep the actual um, plate locked in place. Little extra tip for those with a tripod, Whenever you have a large, heavy lens like this 70 to 300 uh, EF lens on my other, my secondary camera, my Canon 7D, uh, you actually want to have the front leg forward so that the heavy weight of the lens as it pushes and leans forward has another leg to stabilize it. 
The locking mechanism on these legs is actually really interesting. So you have to slide it downwards here, and then you can uh, reposition it as you need. Um, it's really cool. So I haven't seen a mechanism like that. It actually seems a lot more sturdy than some of the other ones which you just sort of thumb press. Um, so that's really cool. I actually like it. And this is the first time I've probably seen a tripod with that. Um, it does have three sections that you can actually rotate to. So we have the full horizontal setup. Uh, looks like about a 45 degree and then uh, the tight. So the center column does come out so you can actually reposition your camera to shoot uh, fully downwards. This is interesting when you want to shoot really low to the ground. Um, I used it the other day to actually shoot a commercial which was top down so we had the legs fully extended and we shot downward. The top of the plate actually has a quarter thread screw on it so the main use is for this to be put on there. This is actually a pretty cool use case where we can use this as a vlogging tool so it's the center column ball head and the phone adapter so just gives a little more versatility to a tripod that um, most people probably would use for a camera, but it, it's obviously modern thinking, so they're trying to add little accessories that um, just give it a little more usability than a standard tripod would. Let's try mounting this to the side. So it has two uses. There's actually a hot shoe adapter there, so you could add something like a light or anything else, maybe a microphone, um, like a boom mic, just different accessories. Uh, that's actually a really handy feature. Um, this was listed as a hand holder slash phone adapter, so obviously you could see how the phone adapter was being used. You can use these phone holders for BTS footage, so it's kind of cool, especially if you're doing a astro landscape. You can use something like this to actually time lapse while you're doing uh, different photos, and that goes for anything you might be working on. So this is actually a really nice feature that I haven't seen very often. I have at times actually tried to use one of my newer clamps to clamp to my other tripod to actually try to film very similarly. So it's nice that this is actually integrated with a very secure threading on the side there. So there's actually another mount here so you can add some other accessory. Hell, you could even have a 360 camera or something going at the same time. Um, so it gives a lot of different options for you uh, when you're actually trying to film. A nice little addition to the phone holder is that I actually can pivot completely. So it gives you a lot more versatility when you're actually trying to use it so you can get into positions that you need. Like most tripods, a lot of it is hex key based if you need to tighten anything. So they did give you the two hex key sizes in the bag uh, if you need them to tighten anything up. Next up, let's check out what this little table mount is about. As I said, this uses a three quarter screw. So we're just gonna easily twist that off. We can twist it now onto this bad boy. So this is actually really useful to have. If you have a secondary ball head, you can even just connect it to this guy. Um, hell, if you were gonna buy a little mount like that, sometimes they can range anywhere from 30 to $60 for a good uh, metal table mount. So this is actually really useful and a nice throw in. One of my favorite tests is actually to check how well it fits in your bag. So we're gonna put it here in my backpack. That fits really nice. Nice and compact. Because the issue with some of the bigger tripods is you'll put it in your bag here. It's sticking out way too large. This is just a 16 liter bag, so it's one of the smaller ones, but it actually use it as my everyday backpack. So you can see here as it's attached, it's not poking out or sticking out too much. Uh, honestly, it fits really well on a backpack. And this is a 16 liter backpack. It's not huge, but it actually does carry around all my lenses and my drone. So this is my go-to bag when I am traveling. So fits great. One of the more interesting features I actually noticed about this is the little mini tabletop adapter here can fit right in the actual ball head. You may be wondering, hey, what's the big deal? Well, when you don't have your center column in, that means you can actually get a lot lower to the ground. Once we've locked the position here with the side screw, you can now see we have a perfectly flat base to this. So we can do some pretty interesting things and the ball head's really low to the ground. Um, I've used a setup like this sometimes when I've removed center columns out of different uh, tripods or gotten it into this horizontal position when I'm shooting by rocks 
or uh, near some aquatic areas where I need to get low to the ground and the center column is gonna get in the way. So the fact that I actually can switch to the smaller one is pretty cool. This Neewer T30 tripod is gonna be great for people who want a very lightweight, versatile tripod that they're probably gonna take on the move. Um, it's super compact, the legs extend to a great height. Like I can't speak enough about how compact this is. When you're carting around a ton of gear, honestly, this is what I appreciate most in a tripod. So the ball head is fantastic and versatile. I love the little extra mount that you can do tabletop videos with. This little phone adapter is such a great add-on. Uh, like I said, it's got one quarter screws on the side here, so you can add up to two different accessories. It's got a hot shoe mount on here. Um, let's not forget it's got the standard hook on here if you need to weight your column down. It's got everything that a standard tripod has, but in a nice uh, compact format. Um, I imagine this is gonna be a very long lasting tripod, so I highly recommend it. It's probably one of the better tripods I've seen in recent years that uh, brands have tried to move towards these compact designs. So I can definitely uh, recommend this one if you're in the market for a new tripod. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna see more about this. Otherwise, yeah, you're probably gonna see me out in the wild using this one. So feel free to ask me any questions in the comments or in person whenever you see me. So if you're looking for a new tripod, keep your eyes out for this TP30 by Neewer. Highly recommend it. Honestly, great for traveling and I'm looking forward to using it more. Have a good one, guys.